What's up guys, it's Brad from JBHP here. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick color grading tutorial. Going over the effect I did on the last video I uploaded, Rise. The short kind of took place in a post-apocalyptic city wasteland. And I thought I'd just go over some of the color grading I did to create the look of the film. First I want to say that I am not a professional colorist. I'm the first to admit that. Um, this is just kind of something I picked up on and I've tried to work on to get certain looks for my videos. A professional colorist wouldn't color in Premiere on, on a laptop screen like I'm doing in, in this tutorial, but um, for the sake of videos on YouTube and small projects, uh, I feel like this is a one way you can do it. Um, but yeah, let's get uh, started here. Um, now I know if you've seen the video, I know that a lot of it is underexposed and uh, we're losing a lot of detail there. Part of that was due to the fact that we d I didn't have a lot of lenses that could deal with low light at the time, especially in the subway sequence. But uh, I did the best I could with uh, the uh, grading. I, th I, I actually liked the look of the film. I know some people thought it was lost a little bit too much detail in the shadows. Maybe they were right, but uh, so sometimes it's actually okay to lose detail in the shadows or in the highlights. Uh, it just depends on the look you're going for. If the look if you're going for a degraded film look, then it's okay to lose to lose a little bit of detail. It's a, it's what you call a creative intent. But yeah, um, let's get started here. I'll go over the effect and uh, show you guys how how you can achieve this kind of post-apocalyptic color grade. So here's our original shot. Something like that. And he walks off. Bring my computers having a little trouble today. Now I'm going to go through the uh, steps I did to color grade this fairly quickly, so I don't waste any time here. So I go ahead and go to Effects, Video Effects, and the first color correction tool we're going to add is uh, RGB curves. I'll go ahead and add that right here. And let's go ahead and just add a basic contrast curve for now, and we can adjust this later to get a better result. Let's just increase the contrast a little bit. And uh, again, I realize I'm crushing the blacks a little bit here. If you pull up a uh, if we pull up a reference monitor, you can see that I'm actually crushing the blacks and um, losing some detail. But I like the look, so I'm going to keep it. Um, next step we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of noise. So go ahead and go over again to a video effects, and then go to where is it? Noise and grain. And then just grab the noise setting, drag that over to your footage. And we're going to add about 6% noise. And you're not going to really see that on this small screen, but you'll uh, you'll pick up on it uh, if you go to a bigger screen. Let's see if we can pick up on it here. It's very subtle, but it's there. You don't want to overdo it on the small monitor because then you'll notice when you go to big screen there's way too much. Um, but I found that 6% is, uh, is pretty good for the effect that I was trying to go for. Okay, so next we're going to go to just add a basic tint. Um, what the tint effect does, it just kind of desaturates the image. Um, but we're going to go ahead, and, instead of making it all black and white, we're going to go ahead and do 40% tint black and white. Um, so that's just desaturating and making it a little bit more apocalyptic. Okay, so finally, our last effect we're going to add is the fast color corrector. This is just going to change the overall hue of the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring, up, bring out a little bit of green in our footage. Yeah, something like that's kind of interesting. So this is getting there, this is kind of close, but let's play around with the RGB curves to get a little bit more stylized look. So I'm gonna add a few more points here. And I'm actually gonna crush the blacks, the deep blacks a little bit more. Um, and then I'm gonna increase the mids a little bit. Bring this guy down. You kind of play around with these to see what you can get. Maybe something like that. Sometimes what I like to do is increase the mids a little bit. Um, just so I'm not losing too much detail. And then I just crush the blacks all the way down. So anything that's just a little bit darker will become entirely crushed. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a just a little basic contrast curve is really what it is. 
we'll, with just a tiny bit of increase on the mids. I'm going to go to the fast color corrector and I'm just going to decrease the green tint to about 60%. And now we're still getting that green tint, it's just not quite as much of it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the general look. Here's the so this is before the color grade. Something like this. And then if we add the color grade. And once we add the color grade, we get this kind of look. That's uh, pretty much how I created the color grade for my Rise short film. I kind of tweaked it a little bit more than I did for this quick tutorial. But this is the general idea. Just add a little RGB uh, basic contrast curves, tweak it a little bit, add some noise, and then add a add kind of whatever kind of hue you want. You want to make a little bit of green, maybe you want to make it a little blue, um, give it a little more cool feel. Uh, you can try that out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just kind of tweak those settings and get a desired look. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to like this video if you thought it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The GBH Media Facebook page is in the description below if you want to like it there to get the latest updates. Feel free to do so. And yeah, check out, check out the short. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.